Servus and welcome back to a new video. Today we will have a more detailed look to Take Until and why it produces a memory leak when you use it the wrong way. When developing with Angular we always run into the same problem when working with observables. We subscribe to an observable and poof, memory leak. To fix it we normally call Take Until with a subject in the pipe and the pipe will emit when the component destroys. In our example, we want to destroy the subject when we click a button. To do so, we add a method and the button to the HTML. Furthermore, we remove the ng-on-destroy lifecycle method. When we hit the button in the browser, we see that next and the complete log statement are shown in the console. According to the console, we have no memory leak in our subscription. This is correct. The problem is not the subscription we have made to the observable. The problem comes from this bad boy here. The subscription we don't see in our code because we did not made it directly. To demonstrate this, we create our own subject where we override the next and the complete function. We just add a console log statement and call the default behavior afterwards. When we hit the button in the console, we see that the next function of our subject is called and that the result completes. But nothing calls the complete function of our subject, which means the observable is still running. When we have a deeper look to the internal implementation of the take until RxJS operator, we see that the notifier which we pass in, which is our own destroy, gets subscribed to but it will never complete and therefore it's still running. The easiest way to fix that is to call complete directly on the subject. When we now hit the button in the browser and have a look at the console, we see that not only next is called, also the complete function is called. To improve our code, we call the complete function directly after the emit call in the overwritten next function. To show the result in the console, we add an extra subscription where we add a handler for the completion of the onDestroy observable. After we sanitized the code, let's have a look at the browser. After we hit the button, we see that there are two entries in our console and that the onDestroy is completed. You want to improve your programming skills? Then subscribe to the channel and click the bell.